So in this version, we'll make the box stateful. To keep track of this, we're going to add a new interface called stateful obj. Okay. We use void in the contracts to document the fact that these objects are stateful. Void methods work by effect. They can return anything. A method whose contract set, return contract is void means you can return anything. We, I promise, as a user of this method, not to look at the return value. Void methods work by effect. They can return anything. The contract void means that whoever called the method promises to ignore the value. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand the container to contain both ordinary objects and stateful ones. All right. And then we'll redo box to be a stateful object. Okay, so there's our stateful world object. It has, it has methods with the same names. Okay, but the contracts are different. So on tick, on mouse, and on key uh, have a return contract of void. Functional world objects are the same as before. Container now contains uh, two lists, a list of ordinary world objects and a list of stateful world objects. Yeah, so it's got the two init fields. Um, uh, on tick, it will, again, new container in which the objects are the same. And now um, the stateful objects, what are we going to do? Well, uh, we, here's a new abstraction that I've kind of toss in there, it's called for each, okay? And for each does for void methods what map does, okay? So it's kind of like map, it, it, it's going to do this, it's going to apply this function, send obj, send obj on tick to each of the stateful objects, okay? And then it's not going to do anything. It's going to ignore the values because these stateful objects, we assume this is going to change those objects. It's not going to create any new objects. So the new stateful objects will be the same as the old stateful objects, but they've changed internally. We'll see. Similarly for on mouse, uh, similarly for on key and for add to scene, uh, we have to paint both the fake stateful objects and the functional ones. Okay, so now, let, let, now let's get down to business. Here on mouse, on mouse returns the contract is num num mouse event void. Okay, which means I don't care about the return value. Okay, what I do care is that I have an effect. We are going to resize the frame. I, really, I mean really resize this frame. Okay, how do we do that? Well, everything is the same as before. Here's adjust width. Okay. Adjust width, new width. Let's see. This is supposed to return a value that I don't care about. Adjust width is going to return a value that I don't care about. And the effect is adjust the center width so that the width is the new width and the left edge is unchanged. So here we go. Watch this. Define adjust width new width. New, used to say new box x with an x field whose value is the sum of send this left edge and new width divided by 2. And, w, and, the, and the w field is equal to new width. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say set bag. I am going to destructively change the left edge of this box, not a new box, this box, to this value. Same value I was going to put in the X field of that new box, but I'm going to do it to this box. 
And similarly, I am going to destructively change the W field of this box and give it the value mu zero. So instead of returning a new box, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the same old box. But after I do this, if you send this new box, what it's uh, the uh, left edge or right edge matches, you're going to get a different answer. That's the only change we made. We introduced this new interface. We set up our container so now it can contain both ordinary world objects and stateful world objects. That's architecture. Okay, and now we change box so that when it responds to a mouse drag, instead of returning a new box, it just changes its state. That means that when the ball here, when this ball or its successors, look at their box field, they will see the box at the same object. That is an object and that is ikv. Ikv to the original one. The same object. Okay, but now the fields will change so it's going to get the right answer. Let's try that. All right, there it is. Let's go. Let's see what happens. Yeah.